They'll bend over backwards and do anything, make any sacrifice for their children. And, and, and you know, we, we, and, 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 and there's, there's, there's nothing wrong with that except when you elevate your children higher than God. We, we knew a couple that we worshiped with when we were in Atlanta. And, um, you know, they were faithful members. You know, they were tithing members. Everything was going great. And they sent their son to college, and, and money got tight, and they stopped tithing. And the pastor called them in and said, what's wrong? Is there something going on? We've noticed that your giving has stopped. And the wife got, got, got really, you know, kind of miffed that the pastor would actually ask why they weren't giving any more money. And she told the pastor, our son's in college. Check with us when he's out of school, and then we'll talk about tithing. You got to be careful when you say stuff like that, because the next semester he was out of school. You see, there's some folk who worship pleasure. Whatever make them feel good is important. And they'll do whatever they have to do to lift that up. Whether it's eating stuff you ain't got no business eating, or running around and looking in folks' faces that don't mean no good for you. They end up getting distracted. Then there's some folks who end up worshiping their different pursuits. Either their careers, their educations, their social network. They got time for all of that, but they don't have time for God. Then you got to understand that the world that we live in, the spirit of the world that, we're, that we live in, is not conducive to worship. The God of this age is, is trying to distract us. And we got so many ways to distract us. Turn on your TV. If you got satellite or cable, you got 100 channels to choose from. Children can't believe that we existed at a time when folk only had five channels. Was happy with them few channels. Now, we, you know, if, 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 if the satellite go out and we just got to deal with basic cable, there ain't enough channels. Not understanding that all of that is competing for our time and attention. The internet, we get so wrapped up on the internet because you can find anything on the internet before you know it, two, three hours then went by. We even spend so much time and effort on, on these time-saving events. Everybody got a microwave in their kitchen, but yet folk don't cook. We don't understand that the spirit of this world puts pressure on us to be distracted from that which God will have you to do. So, so we have all these external things that we had to deal with that are hindrances to worship. And, and I commend you, each and every one of you, that you didn't allow any of those external things to keep you from getting here today. Amen. You could have easily looked out there and say, well, you know, the Lord understand it's snowing. <laughs> you could have easily said, well, you know, I worked overtime this week. The Lord understand. We, we could have easily said, well, you know, I just don't feel up to it. The Lord understands. But, but you all didn't do that. You, you decided to come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. So, so you know, you, you got around those external uh, forces. That is, those things outside of the house that could have prevented you from getting here. But then you get in the house, and then you got to deal with the fact that there's some hindrances to worship all around us in here. You know, somebody talking, somebody passing notes, somebody unwrapping candy paper. We get distracted by all of this stuff that goes on around us. And, 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 and the sad part about it, if, 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 if we allow ourselves to, to, to get distracted, then we prevent ourselves from receiving the blessing that God has already ordained for us to get. Because we focused on the wrong thing. Then we get uh, 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 distracted and discouraged about people. Because everybody in here is struggling to be what God wants you to be. 
Now I acknowledge that a whole bunch of you done come from a mighty long way. But ain't none of us where we going to be. Therefore, if we understand that I ain't what I ought to be, but I rejoice that I ain't what I used to be, then we ought to understand that every one of us in here at some point or another is struggling. But yet, even though we acknowledge that about folk, we sometimes allow ourselves to be disappointed by people. And if you're not careful, you'll find yourself becoming a fault finder. See, the problem with being a fault finder is that while you're so busy looking at other folks' stuff, you done took your eyes off God. I know she has something else to put on. I mean, she'll wear anything to church. Wait a minute. It ain't about what she got on. It's about I come to hear from the Lord. I come to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. And I'm not going to allow myself to be distracted by what other folks did or said around me. They struggling just like I'm struggling. They, they, they got stuff they got to deal with. And, and when I put myself in the position of fault finder, I have elevated myself to the point that I don't need God. You know, I done elevated myself to I'm, where well, I'm going to be a gatekeeper. You can't come in unless I think you're right. See, see, we, 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 we have to remember the Pharisee in the temple. You remember the story. He was standing there and he was called upon to pray. And the first thing he said, I thank God I'm not like that publican over there. I give a tithe. I come to worship. I do this. I do that. And I got it going on. I'm, 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 I'm so glad that I'm not like him. And then the publican, he comes in. I didn't say Republican. The publican came in. 